So uh, this is all there is. What is happening is all there is. So what is happening is seeing, <laughs> hearing, <laughs> hearing noises, <laughs> sounds are happening. Breathing is happening, hopefully. <laughs> feelings in the body, feelings. Sitting on a chair is happening. Thoughts are happening. Thinking, what's this about? Or will I get it? Or she doesn't love me anymore. <laughs> Maybe. Thoughts are happening. All there is, is what's happening. There is no effort to needed for things to happen. Things just happen. Nobody's doing it. Is anybody doing sitting on a chair? It's just happening. What's happening doesn't need to be grasped or owned. It just is happening. It comes and it goes away. What is happening doesn't have to be known. It doesn't have to be learnt. You don't have to learn anything for things to happen. <coughs> and always there's something happening. Always there's something happening. Even in deep sleep, deep sleep is happening. But in the world, in the world we live in, there's always what's happening. You can't escape what's happening. If you get up and walk out of here right now, that's what's happening. If you don't like what's being said here this afternoon, right now, that's what's happening. If you don't agree with it, it's what's happening. If it's totally accepted, that's what's happening. What's happening is in total free fall. It's just there. It isn't anybody's. It can't be owned. You can't own what's happening. It's just what it is. It's alone. It doesn't need you. And what also happens is a sense of being someone. What also happens is a sense of being an individual with a centre, being someone here, sitting on a chair. So you are sitting on a chair, that's what's happening. The idea, the sense that you are a defin definitely an individual sitting on a chair can be what's happening. It's not right and it's not wrong, it's just what it is. The sense of being se a separate individual is what it is. But in that sense of being separate, there's a feeling often when, it's, when, there's a, when there's a sensitivity about what is felt, there's a sense that being separate is somehow um, not quite it. There's a feeling of disquiet about being separate. It's as though there's something missing. It's as though there's a sense that there's something else that's bigger than you just being a part of it. You just being a part of the whole is what, what is sensed, but somehow there's something more to, to it than that. There's something more to life than the way you feel about being an individual. And so people turn to, some people feel that deeply and turn to find out what that's about, try to learn why they feel disquieted, not whole. So people turn to religion or therapy or whatever, or enlightenment, the search for enlightenment happens in order to feel whole. 
And because the individual feels very strongly and, and has learnt that they are separate and they are individual and they have free will and choice, then they can choose to become enlightened. They can learn how to become enlightened. They can go to a teacher who, or, or find a teaching which will teach them how to become enlightened. And invariably that means that they're taught that there's something that needs to change in them. And then they can change that. And the whole idea of individual choice and the ability to, the ability to change reinforces the sense of being an individual. who can do something, who needs to do something, that's on a journey to somewhere, on a path to somewhere else. It's always somewhere else. And that's what happens. That's what can be happening. But what we're talking about today, what we're sharing together today, is another possibility. Another possibility that totally collapses all ideas about becoming something and brings us back possibly to the realisation that all there is is what's happening, possibly to the realisation that there is no such thing as separation and there is no such thing as individuality. There is no separate me. There only is what is happening. This message is very, very simple. It's about something that's absolutely simple and obvious. It's about something that has never been lost, has never left, has never gone away. It's here, it's this, it's this. It can't be attained, it can't be grasped, it can't be learnt. But that which tries to seek it can evaporate. That which tries to find beingness, this, can evaporate, can collapse. And all that's left is the absolute celebration of aliveness. That's what liberation is. The absolute celebration of aliveness for no one. How comes that in spite of knowing that no searching can bring this, that still the searching goes on? Because knowing that there is nothing to find and, and knowing that there is no one is only conceptual. It's only an understanding. What we're talking about here today is not to do with understanding anything. What we're talking about today has, it has nothing to do with the mind understanding something. In a sense, what is being spoken about here is fairly superficial. It's only really a sharing of a perception, a totally revolutionary perception, but nevertheless, directly words are spoken about it, the words are dualistic, and speak only to that which can understand concepts. This is totally beyond understanding. Liberation is totally beyond understanding. Liberation isn't a sudden shift in understanding. Liberation is an explosion. All lights go out. It's like a fuse. A fuse? Is that German? Fuse? Fuse pulls it around. All the lights go out and all that's left is light. So it's an explosion. It's, a, it's an energetic shift out of being a contracted me in a world that's separate into boundlessness. So it's beyond comprehension. It's about the end of individuality. This is the worst place for an individual to be. There's nothing here for the individual. You, you, the person, doesn't want this. It's the end of you. So it's beyond, you know, the mind just some, somehow having some sort of cl clarity is not liberation. Clarity is just something that comes out of liberation. So don't try and understand. Don't be worried about the language and trying to understand this. 
It cannot be understood. I can't understand it. I don't understand it. It doesn't need to be worked out. Okay, I, I, my mind uh, believes what you are saying. Yeah. It trusts you, what you are saying. It's, um, but I have the feeling all I can do is cooperate, not be cooperate. fighting. Yeah. You can't even cooperate. But then, then I mean, I'm, I'm alive. I, I do things. I, I, so I can, I can do, uh, create the space or, or, or whatsoever. No. No? But the fact that you're alive is, is quite a relief, really. It's nice to know that. No, what I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm playing around. Yeah. You are alive, but actually, if you change that around, there is aliveness there. It's yes. not that you are alive, it is that there is aliveness. Yeah. And That's the, what this is about. Yeah. You don't have to be yep. alive for yeah. there to be aliveness. Yeah. Yeah. So right now... <laughs> So right now, what do you feel? What, what's the feeling there um, right now? In the body? In the body? I feel that I can enjoy being in this body and okay, enjoy so, the body. All right, so that's a bit abstract, but... Um, yeah, but fact, because I mean, you, you say there is, is no a feeling thing. of energy there, just energy. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. But it's no body's energy, it's just energy. It's just aliveness. You don't have to become or learn anything or try to make energy, there just is energy sitting there. Yeah. And that's the beginning and the end of it. Directly you go into the story that you have to sort of learn about that energy or try to embrace it or own it, then you're back trying to get hold of something that's already very happily just there. <laughs> So there's nothing to do, there's no one to do anything, all there is, is energy. Yeah, then all, all but uh, this, this, this going on of eating, of, of working, of meditating and so what this just happens, I just yes, allow totally. it to of happen. Of course it just happens. I just you may it. have believed up until now that it was you that chose to eat breakfast. Yeah. But in fact, eating breakfast happens, eating happens, Meditating happens. Coming here happens. You didn't choose to come here. You may have believed you did. Nobody in this room actually chose and took action to come here. It is what happened. And right now, all there is in this room is what's happening. It's very liberating and relaxing. It's amazingly too. liberating. It's sort of a bit frightening too because <laughs> <laughs> you won't be there anymore. Mm. And the difficulty for the individual is that the individual believes they have to be there to control it or to make it happen. Well, what's, you know, so many people have asked me, well, what's going to happen to life if I'm not here? <laughs> well, believe it or not, it's going to thoroughly enjoy itself being life. <laughs> it doesn't need you. You add yourself onto it. We add ourselves on as an illusory centre. We just add ourselves onto what happens. And that's when the shit hits the fan. <laughs> because we think we are something that does something. There isn't anyone. All there is, is aliveness. All there is, is this. <laughs>